It has all the elements of a good TV drama. Intrigue, suspense, a complicated lead character and an heir apparent. And as President Jacob Zuma and ANC leader Cyril Ramaphosa continue to hold discussions, South Africans are watching and waiting. The two are now doing a complicated dance to try and see who really is more powerful. In the final analysis, though, I think Ramaphosa would have to be more powerful, and he is now trying to make himself president through some sort of long, complicated negotiation. Many South Africans, from politicians to members of the public, are becoming impatient and frustrated by the closed-door talks. People are very unhappy about that because it feels like a secret deal is being developed to give President Zuma a soft landing whereas what he actually needs is some time in court followed by some time in jail. On the other side, I think what's developing is a real trust deficit in Ramaphosa himself, the feeling that this is a man who wrote, co-wrote our own constitution, the constitution of South Africa, who's very familiar with the constitution of the ANC, and yet is acting in a very unconstitutional way, doing backdoor deals, putting out very mealy mouth statements that actually increase the anxiety. Media stakeholders believe that most of the country has had enough of President Zuma, whose legacy is marred by corruption, high unemployment and a weak economy. I must say that in rural areas, and particularly in KwaZulu-Natal, you might have a slightly different picture. It might be more nuanced. But I think overwhelmingly, the big advantage that Ramaphosa has in this is that public sentiment is on his side. But Ramaphosa has his work cut out for him. He's got two things he needs to do. He needs to get Zuma out, but he also needs to keep the ANC together, and one can get in, way of, in the way of the other. And that's really Ramaphosa's problem. He needs to be very, very careful, but he also needs to make sure that once Zuma is gone, he's gone. And that means he has to be utterly ruthless when the time comes. These are very uncertain times, economically, politically, and emotionally, for many South Africans who are waiting for some closure on this. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Santon, South Africa.